All right, so in high school, I was a cheerleader, big competition cheerleader. Um, I was a base and I would be hit in the nose countless amount of times. Um, that led to a deviated septum where I couldn't breathe out of the left side of my nose. It was very difficult, very uncomfortable, never felt like I got proper airflow, didn't sleep well. Um, so at that time, I kind of went to go look um, for other procedures, things like that, that could help with nasal breathing um, and found a physician who did a septoplasty on me. Things went great. I could breathe better. It was awesome. Then I went back for my post-op appointment and was told that my septum had been perforated. Since then, um, I had chronic rhinitis. My nose was always running. Um, I had a whistle through my nose. Um, it was very, it was hard. It was being in a quiet setting um, and talking to people, they could hear my whistle and it was honestly not fun. And it was a little embarrassing. Um, so then this kind of all happened when I was about in college, um, probably my freshman or sophomore year in college. I moved over to Auburn um, in Alabama in a whole different environment, lots of allergies there. Um, I then began to get a ton of sinus infections every six weeks. I was on constant antibiotics, wasn't good for my body. Um, I finally came home one day and just told my mom, I'm having enough. We need to figure out another you know, alternative to this. So we did a lot of research of the uh, physicians in the Atlanta area. Um, I decided to come to Dr. Sinha because he did the balloon approach, which I liked the, um, that it was very non-invasive rather than the endoscopic sinus surgery. Um, so I came here, was very impressed with the way the office was run, um, very good bedside manner, just overall felt very comfortable, and we went ahead and proceeded with the balloon sinuplasty.